This demonstration shows how to manage users and permissions within Microsoft's Partner Center. And although the concepts are similar for other programs, the focus of this video is Microsoft's Commercial Marketplace. We begin at the home page of Partner Center, accessed at partner.microsoft.com dashboard, and I've logged in using my account. I navigate to the top right corner for settings under the gear, and I select developer settings. I then go to the users tab, and I now see a list of the users who have access to Partner Center and their associated roles. To add users, I select the add users button, and I now have three options to create new users. I can add an existing user who already is within my directory. I can create a new user within the directory, or I can invite an outside user from a different organization. First, we'll look at adding permissions to an existing user account. I select Ally, add selected, and I'm shown the permissions that I can select and apply to Ali's account. Manager, Developer, and Finance Contributor are relevant for the commercial marketplace. Manager can manage users and user permissions, as well as offers. Developer can create and manage the offers, and Finance Contributor can view the payout reporting and tax details. I'm going to make Ali a manager. Ali will now be able to log into Partner Center using her corporate credentials, Ali at contosobayarea.onmicrosoft.com, and has manager permissions within Partner Center. I will now show how to create a new user who does not yet exist within our directory. In order to do this, I need to have Azure Active Directory administrative permissions because I'm creating a new account within our directory. I select Create New Users, and then I fill out the form with the information for the account that I'm creating. Now that I've entered in the information for this new user account and selected the permissions that I want to provide, I click Save, and I'm presented with the page for the new user's login username, as well as the temporary password. When Sarah logs into Partner Center for the first time, she will be prompted to enter in this temporary password and select a permanent password. If the person managing Partner Center and Partner Center permissions is not an Azure Active Directory administrator, and that's a different person within your organization, your Azure Active Directory admin can create the user account within the Azure portal, portal.azure.com, navigating to the Azure Active Directory pane and create a new user here, just as they would any other user within the directory. And then they will appear within the Partner Center user experience so that you can apply permissions to that account, just as we demonstrated prior. The final option for creating a new user also requires Azure Active Directory administrative permissions but I can invite a guest user from outside my organization. I select Invite Outside Users, and I enter in the email address of the person that I would like to invite. This will create a new account in our directory, but allow this user to log in with the email address that I've invited, and I will choose the permissions I want to apply. An email has now been sent to this individual, inviting them to log in and join me within Partner Center. I've logged in with the email account that I just invited to join me in Partner Center. And by selecting the email, we see the invitation that has been sent to the outside user. And by clicking this link, I'm now invited to log in to Partner Center within that tenant. And these are the three options for creating user accounts within Microsoft Partner Center and applying and managing permissions for those users 
so that they can access the commercial marketplace portion to create and manage other user accounts, create and manage offerings, and view payout reporting and tax information.